our new GeoPro 15T B twin beds. And we just picked this up a couple days ago. And I just thought it'd give you a, a tour of our camp. So just starting on the outside, I like these stairs. I mean, these things are steady. I mean, you know, I'm a big guy. They're rated for 500 pounds. So that's really great. I like that. It's got the furnace, the uh, intake and the exhaust for the furnace for the uh, for heating the inside of it. It's got a 110 plug right here. It's GFI protected. This little slide rail, you can mount a table on it or a uh, Brooks, Brooks, Brookstone grill, a griddle. So we got that. It's got the Westlake tires. They're, they're 235, 75, 15s. And they have a um, TPMS in it, tire pressure management system in it, which is really pretty nice. A little storage here. This can take you inside. I like the magnets. You just throw it up there and it's done. Instead of having that little clip. So you got storage under here. And you have an access in the back. Four corner jacks are nice. I like that. Let me step back a little bit. Okay. So here we got a, this ladder. It says it's rated for 250 pounds. So that means that me won't be going up that ladder. Because I'm a little over 250. Not a lot, but a little. And, uh, and then you have a... Just the door. It's got the magnet. We haven't done much to inside here, but it's got a hose for the grill and the power cord and all that stuff. So we'll work on that. I already added a camera. That's a real simple little job. I had that camera from an earlier camper. Basically, you take two, four screws off. You remove the little bait cover. You take the new camera. You plug in the wires for the power. You plug it in. You put the four screws back on it, and it's mounted because it comes pre-wired. That's really pretty cool. So... You don't have to pay like a dealer to install that for you. You just, just need a little ladder to get up there. Step ladder. Four corner jack, like I said. Uh, little rain gutters, little spit out, you know, so the water, if it's raining, it'll come out and go out here, not drip down the side, hopefully. This is for the water heater. It's got a little cover. There's your water heater. And it's got a, a reset switch here, pressure relief valve. You have to do work on it. So we got that. Right here is your uh, gravity fill for your freshwater tank. Just put a hose there, gravity fill. Antifreeze, if you want to, to uh, winterize it, you can hook up a antifreeze, you know, like a hose here, a little short hose, put it into a bottle of antifreeze and suck it up into the uh, system through the pump. You hook your city water here. You can hook up cable, or if you have a satellite, you can put a little satellite receiver up right there. 30 amp shore power connection outside shower and the outside shower has a uh, hot and cold running water oh one thing also is pretty cool one key one key it does it all no more uh, ch751 universal key that anybody else can use so there's your outside shower saw that there hot and cold very nice mm -hmm. and Oh, I forgot to mention underneath back here, this big white thing down there, that is your freshwater tank. If you want to, if you need to drain your freshwater tank, you just pull that handle like that, and it just, it just dumps out your freshwater really quick. And here you have a black tank handle, it's black, gray tank, it's gray, and your port, and a little tube to store your uh, your hose in your low point drains are right down under here and it's got the uh, torsion axles they're not leaf springs they're torsion axles which is really nice and they're your uh, tire pressure monitors yeah tire pressure continuing around on the front there's a little night light so when you come to a campground if you're trying to hook up something you have a little bit of light it's not on, it's only on the one side but that's okay power jack and it also has a light and power up and down you have to get a break uh, you know I got a weight distribution hitch with sway control pretty much 
recommend it, I, I would say. And I got a Kurt wireless brake controller, which is really nice. It's just, the Jeep didn't have one. Uh, I could have wired one in, but this is real simple. You just plug it in, you plug your, your cable into it, you pair it, and it's done. So let's go on inside now. Now, I like this, it comes, I like this, it comes with a keyless pad. So you can, it has a factory code, or you can change it to whatever you want. So that's really cool. Let's open the door up. It's got a screen door with this little thing right here, this screen shot. It'll automatically shut the door, keeps it shut. And the door stays where you put it pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it's friction fit. Okay. And you do have a you do have a little tie over here. I didn't mention this, but there's a solar oh, yeah. you can put solar panels there. And it does have a little tie. So oh. you can you can lock lock it there like that. That's good. And that is the solar panel um, connection there? Mm, solar That's already panel. wired for mm -hmm. like a suitcase solar or something? Y yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's got a little nice sales pitch here tell you what's on it but it's also a nice little screen protector keeps bike from digging his toenails in there and there's all the good things about it let me just show everybody this Well, it's warm in here too because it's hot out. We're in Georgia. It's pretty warm. So, um, Let's, shall we turn on the fan? Well, that makes just noise. Okay, we won't. Yeah. It makes a little noise. But it's nice. I, I like these beds. They're, they're 30 inches wide and they're 74 inches long. They're just not quite big enough for me to sleep in twin bed mode. But you can put a table in here. So you can fill this in. Take the backs there and fill this in with the foam. And then you have an 82 inch wide bed by 74, which is a really big bed. And we're gonna take a um, topper that we have. It's a, a full size topper that it's 70, um, 74 long, I think, or something like that. It's not quite the, the full width. It's off by a little bit and it'll come to about here. It's 54 inches wide. So that'll give us a nice two person laying this way and a little bit of room here for a little breakfast area. So I'm gonna work on a uh, fixing up a lagoon mount for a table so we can have a lagoon table here. And uh, let's just see what else we got. It's got cabinets. These are like one open length right here. They go the entire distance from here all the way to the back corner. A little bit of storage up here. It's got roller shades privacy and here you have a, a tip out emergency window back here you have a split window you can open up one side or you can open up the other side or both of them so that's really nice it's got a uh, tip out window on this on the passenger side over here and this little spot I don't know what you're it's like a little table spot even if we didn't build a uh, dinette table, we could still sit here and we could use that for a table, or we could use the table that came with it, but it's just kind of big. So we like minimalist stuff. Uh, the easier, the better for us. So we have that. Oh. Well, we're not really sure what kind of changes we're going to make. True. We'll take it to Key West because. We're going to be gone before we get to go to Key West, and when we get back, we only have less than two weeks, and sometimes changes. Actually, I think we need to use it and see what, how we want, if if and what we want to change. Yeah. You know, we'll it's, learn as um, we go. It's certainly perfectly great the way it is, except with a few things, like we need to put some bedding on the uh, cushions. But um, other than that, We'll just have to let it evolve, I think, is what we'll have to do with it. Yeah. But um, like Guard was saying, we got the key things that we need. 
an indoor kitchen because I, I really hate the thought of guard going out and cooking me breakfast out back every morning. Me too. That would work. Me sitting in here when it's raining outside, him out there slaving over some hot eggs. I can't do that to him, so I'm going to let him cook me breakfast in here. Yes. And um, <laughs> the bathroom is nice to have inside. Yeah. Or even have all together, because <laughs> some of the smaller ones don't have one of these things. One of these things that I really love, it's called a toilet, yeah. an inside toilet. And hey, look, it has a shower miser, too. So um, Saves water. When yeah, camping. yeah. So when you're boondocking and you don't have unlimited water, you can uh, recycle it till it gets hot. And there's a nice storage cubby right back there. It's watertight. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can see us putting a lot of TP and um, towels in there probably. Yeah. So if yep. you want to keep dry. Yep. And it's got a convection microwave. That way I can uh, I can bake pizza and biscuits in the morning to go with the scrambled eggs and sausage. And your and your homemade sourdough bread can bake in there. Yeah. And it's got a, <laughs> a bottle pop top remover right there next to the inverter. That's for your moxies. Moxies. Yeah. And a 12 volt TV uh -huh. with a built in DVD player, which is neat. And a 12 volt, let me step back here. Uh -huh. A 12 volt compressor refrigerator. Right. Those little can holders for mm -hmm. the uh, LaCroix. And yeah. yeah, this is perfect. I, good. I like 12 volt refrigerators. Mm -hmm. And it's got a Super nice little freezer, freezer. compartment. Yeah. Still got the styrofoam in it. Yeah, you know, it's frozen solid, that styrofoam. Yeah. And, uh, what else do you want to see? That's it. Yeah. Okay. It's got a little latch here to keep it secured yeah. while driving. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much the inside of it. And, uh, oh, it's got a, uh, we got an 11,000, no, 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Some of them have the 11,000. We got the 13.5. So it's a Coleman Mach 3. Some of them come with a Coleman Mach 8. I would have rather had the Mach 8, but the Mach 3 is okay for right now. Yeah. And I guess they put in what they can get. But they these can get days. sometimes, dude. Sometimes the supplies supply. are weird these yeah. days. Got but it. I think it's going to be different than in the van. A little different. Um, we don't have the lithium batteries in here. But we're, I'm ready to just go out and try this out the way it is and just, mm. like I said, see how it goes and see what we want to change. You, yeah. it, it'll be different. I don't want it to be exactly the same as riding around in the van. No. And I don't want it to be the same as staying home. It's going to be its own thing. Yeah. Okay, so the biggest thing for me to work around is going to be the batteries because we have a Coach and Beyond with the Li3 batteries 600 amp hours we can run our air conditioner for hours on the battery and this has a flooded cell 12 volt battery which is great for camping i mean most people love them because they're dependable they're just they've been around for years you know 50 100 how 100 years maybe even longer thousand years ago but um they're very dependable batteries you just have to maintain them put distilled water in them and check them and don't let them run down too low and all that but the lithiums are just so much more for us so i'm going to spend some time in researching and hopefully do a little conversion to lithium but we have a generator and we have the back of the uh Jeep. gladiator there that we can uh carry a generator mm -hmm. We can put a lot of things in there. We can put chairs in there. We can sit outside. It just yeah. So this is gonna be different. It's gonna be a learning experience for us. Okay, different style but, of um, whole different whole different way of doing things. Recreation. But yeah, we do have a generator. We have a uh, champion, and I'll be making a video on that because I've already ran the air conditioner off it. I shot a video, but the video got corrupted somehow. But we ran the uh, generator. And powered up the air conditioner and it worked fine. So we're gonna—I'll be making a new video on that. And uh, just check out the channel for for updates as we go along. Well, thanks for watching. Go out, see America. It's like I always say, it's a great place. It's wonderful. Just—you never know what you're gonna find down the road. So, take care. Bye.